Yo, yeah, welcome ladies and gentlemen. This is Cyril from Tech Dragon Out Info. And today we are going to like take that blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> take a look at the test server. There we go. I can spit it out. And we are taking a look at the 112. This was actually requested to me um like two months ago when you first mentioned the 112. And I don't remember who asked about it, but whoever did this is for you. <laughs> I'll try to find that comment, but I don't remember where it was. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Here we are, the 112. The Chinese Tier 8 Premium Tank Heavy. And... Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, hmm. Let's take a look at the stats first, shall we? 1500 hit points. Well, actually, let's just grab some of its competitors real quick. Um... Yeah, let's just turn, 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 turn. Uh, Russian. I think the IS six is a good comparison, and just for the heck of it, we'll just compare it to premium vehicles. I'll grab a T thirty four and a FCM. And that is it. Can I go back to the garage? Yeah. Okay. I'll spread these out a bit. Okay, so, 1500 hit points is pretty much smack in the middle. Um, the only one that has slightly more is the IS-6. So, pretty much smack in the middle. The weight, it's actually pretty light for heavy, surprisingly. It's only 46 tons with loadouts. I mean, this one's 51, 65, and 54, and these are without loadout, so... It's actually pretty light for a heavy tank, surprisingly. Engine power is pretty lacking. If you compare them to the other ones, 1,000, 800, 700, 580 is pretty low, so it's a pretty lumbering beast, I would say. Um, it really, it, it, it's sluggish. Let's put it like that. It, it's not slow, but, you know, it, it's right between slow and not very fast <laughs> so but well you'll see that once we get to the replays um the first speed of 26 is pretty much smack in the middle um of course the fcm is a lot and i do mean a lot more mobile than this thing is so can't really compare that speed limit 35 here 35 here this one is 45 um, again, the engine power is your limiting factor. You will not reach that unless you go down a slope, and then you can go into the 50s with this thing. So, again, I'll show you a replay. So, that's not too bad. Now, the armor. The FCM actually has 120 frontal armor. Are you kidding me? That wet tissue has 120? Wow. Okay. <laughs> The armor is actually the same as the FCM. Wow, I did not realize that thing had that much armor. It's probably sloping then, because... Move this around. Eh, FCM is in the way. There, you can see it. It's pretty damn sloped. So you have 120 at the front, 80 at the side, 60 at the rear, but even the rear is still pretty sloped. And 80 at the side, if you look at it from the front, that's still angled. So if you're angling your tank like this, they will never ever be able to pen your sides because it's angled this way and this way. So effectively this would probably be 120 millimeters or something at an angle. So yeah, you can angle this thing pretty badly, well, badly but pretty steeply and I mean at this rate they probably are gonna pen, so you probably want to angle it like this. And yeah. Enjoy your auto bounces. <laughs> Turret armor with 240. It's exceptionally good. Um, if we look at the uh, IS-6, 150. Well, you're not going to beat the Americans, let's be honest. It, that's not never going to happen. And you beat the French pretty badly as well. So it's pretty damn good armor. And it's quite rounded. So it does have these glaring weak points at the top though. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this is a weak spot, just like the IS-6's. I think it's like the driver's viewport or something like that. The IS-6 has the same weak point in the same spot. 
and this tank seems to be somewhat built on the specs of the i6 if you look at the turret it's different but you know has some similar aspects to it um let's see where were we turret armor 130 on the side again that's pretty damn good um actually beats everyone for premiums so that's not bad at all shell damage and rate of fire well, shell damage, it's kind of hard to compare, let's just grab the guns, because you get a better idea with the averages than you get with the, uh, okay, tech tree, and actually, nope, no, we're already in the right one, let's grab the 110 real quick, just compare this real quick, because this is its counterpart, um, hit points slightly better, Engine power, slightly better. Traverse, uh, speed limit, slightly better. Traverse, slightly worse. Hull armor, same. Same, no, actually the side armor is better on the 110. And the rear is the same. 130 turret armor is much better on the 112. 90 millimeter on the side, again, much better on the 112. 60 in the back. Actually worse than the one uh, 110, excuse me. Oh, these numbers are going to kill me. Um, so, okay, let's grab the gun. Okay. Uh, we do the tech tree. We, yeah. Grab the 110's final gun. Which is more than likely going to be pretty damn similar. Uh, no, nope, don't want Germans. The Russians. And we want the IS-6 and its gun. We want the American... Yeah, that's T-34. And its gun. Um... Ah, what the hell, we'll throw the FCM in as well. Because gun-wise, it's a really good tank. But you can't really compare it to the um, Russian-style guns, 122mm, but let's take a look. So, this is our control, this is our, the tank we're actually looking at. Rate of fire, 4.5, practically. Well, this one beats it flat out, but, you know, let's take this one out. It's a 90mm, it's a more rapid-firing gun, so you can't really compare it. So, rate of fire, a 5 on the IS-6, so the IS-6 actually shoots faster. Good to know, I actually thought they were slower. And that's, hmm. The, what's this one? The 110 has a rate of fire of 6. So, pretty much faster, but quite a bit. Surprisingly, did not expect that. And on the T-34, a rate of fire of 4. So you're faster than the T-34, but the T-34 has you beat in damage and penetration. Although you shoot slightly faster, but I see this thing more as a TD than a heavy. I mean, it, it really it seems to be more of a TD. But anyways, accuracy 0.46 is pretty brutally bad. Um, it's the same as the IS-6. It's quite a bit worse than the 110, and it's quite a bit worse than the T-34. So accuracy-wise, it's on par with the IS-6. Now, the penetration, 175 is not a lot of penetration. It's exactly the same as the IS-6. The same goes for the damage output, is exactly the same, but the I-6 can pump out more rounds a minute. So, yeah, yeah. Aim time, 3.4, pretty standard. Um, actually, wow, the 110 has a pretty good aim time for... That's a 100mm, uh-huh, that's why. That's a pretty damn good 100mm, by the way. <laughs> um, with 2.9. So, the gun is pretty... How would I put it? Average amongst these tiers? I mean, I could grab the IS-3, um, you know, those kind of tanks, and the gun stats will be pretty much the same. So it's a pretty standard gun, so you will have to aim for weak spots um, on some of the heavies you'll be facing, because he, 175 pen is just not enough. Now, what some people might be interested in is the penetration with a... Premium shell is 250. 
So if you're looking for that extra pen, you can go up to 250 with heat rounds. So, let's take this thing into some battles. And as you can see, my crew is low. This is a non-trained crew, and I did this for a reason. I want to show you what this tank is capable of with only 50% crew. I've done two battles in this thing, and those two battles are the ones I'm going to show you. Does that make me an expert in this tank? No. Let's just take a look at the replays and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> so, here we are on Ensk. We are top tier. And I was actually doing something on my computer while I was playing this game. I figured, eh, yeah, let's just get a game out of the way so I can get a feel for the tank. So I was massively lagging while doing this. Um, I was basically changing a shit ton of files on the same drive as this World of Tanks test version is on, so... Yeah! Playing with a lot of lag is so much fun. Don't think you can actually notice it in the server here, but... That's pretty brutal. Um, let's just see how I did, okay, shall we? So, I'm trying to pass this T-34 here. Um, actually, ugh, I hate it that they reset your tanks. I can't even see what tank this is. I think it's a T-34, but I can't see it because it's bloody tank bullshit. One thing that pisses me off, I get stuck in a corner there, but one thing that pisses me off about the test server is every time they update it, doesn't matter if it's between versions, like version 1 or version 2. Um, well that was nice damage there. Um, that was actually, I think somebody else who shot him first and then I just finished him off. Anyways, between every version of the test server, they reset all your um, settings. Including if replays are on, which screwed me over more than once already. This person is slightly annoying, you know. Crap, I almost shot him in the turret. Christ, I'm just gonna move forward here so that I sort of block him. Um, that way he can't pull up in front of me, because that was starting to really piss me off. As you can see, the reload on this tank is pretty long. Oh, lag. <laughs> but, oh, enemy destroyed enemy. Good job. Good job. So far, I got one kill and haven't taken any damage yet. So, we see a Lou in the back here. And we take a shot. And I'm not sure where that shot went. I'm surprised it didn't do damage. The only thing I can imagine is that it went slightly high and bounced off his frontal plate there because I'm pretty sure it should have been or would have been on target so that was a bit odd uh, stupid school buses in the way <laughs> dang it move 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 shot into a and a nice pretty shitty actually damage wall there but um still nice damage and a lot of shots, I didn't even fully aim um, this game because I didn't have time or just wanted to get the damage in. I just kind of wanted to see what would happen with those kind of clutch shots. Take a look at that one. Ta-da! Not fully zoomed in, but it went in anyways. And I'm not going to see uh, the T-44 there. Just going to get killed, so let's take a look at the stats. Okay, we got a Mastery Badge second class. <laughs> Still have the bug with the amount of money not showing up. But spawning damage on the... Okay. <laughs> so, we didn't do too bad. Um, 2100 damage done. And scored about 5th in the list. You know, it was the first game I played in this thing. 7 shots, 7 hits, 6 pens, 2100 damage. Not too shabby, received 2 hits, bounced 2 hits. Uh, damage six people, destroy one, 174 spotting, made 44k money, um, so subtract 10k from the bonus, so we made about 37k profit. Let's take a look at the next replay. Well, I was going to skip this one ahead, but then I realized it might be a good idea to show you the speed of this thing. So we're currently doing 35, 36, that seems to be about the cruising speed of this tank. Um, mid 30s, you know, 30, 30 something. Now, let's go downhill. 40. 50. Can we get a 60? No, darn. <laughs> Got close to 60, though. I think 58 or something. Um, uphill, this thing is faster than a Super Pershing. I, mean, I still had some excess speed there, but you'll see in a bit here that, you know, lost all my speed, but 
I am slowly gaining on these super versions. And keep in mind, this is a stock crew, 50%. Well, by now it's probably 54. The previous game was 50% crew, so there's a lot of room for improvements here on reload, on aim, all that. But I just wanted to give you the absolute basics of this thing. Um, I mean, I could have gotten 100% crew, but, you know, um, I think that these two games demonstrate this tank pretty well. And gun depression is not great, but not completely absent. Um, you'll see that in a little bit here. I mean, I've had a lot worse. <clears throat> T34 3. <clears throat> um, so, uh, <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. It's a pretty bad tank, in my opinion, because of the lack of gun depression. And I was thinking, should I take a shot on the move? No, no. I, I want to make money, you know, I want to show the capabilities of the tank. On the move shots are fine if your ammo is dirt cheap, but. Okay, keep your eye on this um, IS6 here. Uh, I'm thinking, take a shot, take a shot. Nah, it's a super version at that angle. It's not gonna pan out unless I actually aim. And I don't really want to be aiming and. Ow. I take a shot there. I think I take a couple of shots, actually. Not sure. Look like two or three. Um, but anyways, take no damage. Just track damage. So, it's high six down there. Keep your eye on him once we get into this fight here. So there's an Artie back there. Put a shot at you. I'll show you the depression. As you can see, it, it it's not that horrifically bad. Um, it, it's workable. I mean, I could shoot over this hill and into his lower hull. So he takes a shot into the side there and gets pinned. Corner, push on to the bounce shot. Artillery missing. Shot into him. I'm basically waiting for his fire. Um, I'm just being nice and not pulling up in front of him. So yeah, wait till he sh shoots and then I continue to move forward. Not waiting for him to put somebody in low health. I'm just and then again takes a shot. So I don't know why he's taking so much damage. Sit here and I wait. The super version should have been wiggling. I had all the time to aim. I take another couple of shots from a IS 6 and I'm not sure who else is shooting at me. I wait for him to take a shot again. I move up, take a shot again, no damage. And I zoom into his hatch and just put a shot into it. And he gets taken out by the IS 6. The IS 6 has lost half his health. I've taken probably the same amount of hits as he has. I haven't lost a single point yet. Everything has just bounced. Super Pershing seems to be pissed. <laughs> okay, now this is a problematic target, and I probably should have just kept moving and uh, fired a sort of clutch shot there because. Where did he pen me? Yeah, lower hull. Um, lower hull is vulnerable. You know, nothing surprising there. Upper hull is pretty damn strong. And as you can see, the Jack Tiger 88 came out pinned. So it's the lower hole that you need to be you know, protective of. Let's go back here. So I need to actually hit his lower plate because I can't get through his upper plate. There we go. So we've taken a couple of damage shots here, but overall, everything that's hit our upper plate bounced every single shot. This is a test server. This thing seems to do pretty damn well. See? Lower plate pants, upper plate didn't. So, that's the same on every single tank. Oh, the side of an IS-6, sure. And we bounce another shot. Reloader is pretty long, though. And there you can see that driver hatch. So. And he gets taken out before we reload. Let's take a look at the stats. There, we got a steel wall, a sharpshooter, a master gunner, and a steel wall. We did spawning damage on him to... wait, three? <laughs> what the f Okay, we did three <laughs> spawning damage on him, sure. We got top experience and third highest damage. 
So, okay. <laughs> Fired nine shots, nine hits. Uh, we took 14, and only uh, five penned out of 14 shots. 48k is what we made. Uh, 34 for an event, so we made about 30, 40k. And about 38k profit. Not too shabby. So, this tank. Um, that was t my f literally my first two games in this tank ever. And it performed pretty damn well. Um, I'm gonna have to say that the teams I went up against weren't all that great, and I had pretty good teams, so it might be down to, you know, some sheer luck, but this thing is bouncy. This front plate is so bouncy. Just angle that thing and cover up your lower hull and just chip away at people's health. The gun penetration is not great, aim time is pretty bad, but, you know, once I get the crew to 100%, or you get your crew to 100%, that would be a lot better. Um, so yeah, the, the gun is, how do I put it, functional. It's not great, it's not bad either. It's functional. If you know where to shoot, you know, the weak spots, um, if you're close enough to actually hit them, because the accuracy is pretty poor. Um, 0.46 is pretty poor, but this is an in-your-face kind of tank. This is not a sniper. This is really in-your-face, bounce off my lower hull on my frontal turret, and I'll shoot you the crap kind of tank. Gun depression is actually not bad at all. It, it's there. It has depression. It's not great, but I think it has, like, up to here kind of depression. Something like that. So it really isn't too bad. Um... I don't know what this tank is gonna cost. Let's see if we can figure it out. Um, we get 2.4 million for it. If we sell the Super Pershing... What the hell? Ah, okay. We finally fixed it. You actually get gold for it. Um, okay, so that's not a good one. Let's take a look at this one real quick. So, 1.3. Okay, so it's quite a bit more expensive than the SU-122. So it's going to cost roughly around, I would say, the same as the IS-6. So that would be, what, 11? Yeah, 11 something. So that's the price you can expect. And from what I heard, it's only going to be in the gift shop. So you cannot buy it with your in-game gold. You have to buy it directly from shops or with money. Um, so that's uh, going to kind of suck if you already have some gold built up in your account. You won't be able to get it. You have to buy it from the gift shop. But that's about the price you can expect. So that would be, I don't know, like 40 some with bu bucks? 40, 40 to 50? Something like that. I don't know exactly what the current price is, but around that area. So... Is this tank better than the IS-6? Well, it depends. It really depends. What line do you already play? I mean, I would say that the earning potential and the um, performance of both tanks is pretty similar. So, in that case, if you're doubting between the two, what tank do you already have? If you already have ISs, go with the... Uh, IS-6, because you can put your, you know, any heavy crew from uh, your Russian tanks you can put in it. And this one, you can put any Chinese heavy crew in it, so I think that's what's, you know, what it comes down to. If you have to choose between the two and you already have one nation, go with that one. Um, their performance is going to be pretty similar. Um, there are differences between the two. I think this one is the slightly stronger tank, but the IS-6 has the rate of fire over this one, so... And other than that, same gun. So, out damage output-wise, the I-6 is going to be better. This one outputs... How did that say? Darn. Oh, I can't really tell. Um, I'm too lazy to do the math right now. But the I-6 has the same base damage and a high rate of fire. So the damage output on that one is going to be better. Simple as that. So, that's what it comes down to. Um, I would say that this is, at the moment, if they don't change it pretty damn solid tank. It seems to perform well, it seems to be very bouncy, 
um, and yet if you know where to shoot it, like lower plates, easy enough to kill. And I would say this is a very, very balanced tank as it is, and I think they should just keep it. It's not overpowered, it's not underpowered, I think it's right where it should be. So, if you like this, uh, I guess, review, then give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.